All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 replay cast. Today it's a one versus one on Ancient Isles, and it is a Warcraft 3 Arena Net replay of the week. And before we get started with the players, another quick reminder that this Saturday, which is the 8th at 2 p.m. Arizona time, I will be streaming some replays. Just going to be a casual thing, some amateur replays and some semi-randomly selected replays from Warcraft 3 Arena Net. And uh, should be a good time. We should go on for two or three hours. My Twitch link is down in the description of the video below. And uh, you can follow me now or just catch me on that day when I am streaming. But uh, let's meet the players here. Down at the bottom we have our green orc player, just another orc. And up top we have our gray Undead player era, and we are gonna speed this on up. It could be era triple A, but uh, whatever. Era and speeding up to the two minute point when the heroes come out and all the good stuff starts to happen. Playmaster is moving on out across the map here. Picked up the circlet of nobility. Also invested quite a lot into two healing salves, clarity potion, and the scroll of speed as well. And looks like he might be going We're after complete. his opponent's Ogre Magi camp here. And for We're our undead, the Death Knight is on the way. And fairly good position here. All he has to do is just move up and down, and he can kind of hide from that other Ogre Warrior's damage a little bit here. He's just going to finish off this Ogre Magi, and then most likely just wind walk away with the prize a second circlet of nobility for the Blade Master there. Dust of Appearance goes off. Master will make it on out of there, and that Ogre Warrior went really far. So now the Undead Era will clean up the camp here. And we'll get a Tome of Agility and a little bit of experience out of it, but it's going to miss out on that Circlet of Nobility. And so now plus four to all stats on that Blade Master. Going to follow the Undead around a little bit here. And now Era looks to go after the Null Overseer camp. After the Assassin first, takes that out pretty quick here. And looking to possibly steal a kill or an item. And looks like he may have gotten that kill there. And I think he did based on his experience. Now going after the, the Death Knight there. Doing a little bit of damage. Half health on the Death Knight. We're under attack. And the Grunt going to town there. <clears throat> and excuse me, got to clear the old... Old throat. And Crud now running away from several skeleton warriors. No sense in taking unnecessary damage from them. We're under and Death Knight so far not having much luck creeping. And no items from creeping. A similar experience on these two heroes. But uh, unfortunately the Death Knight getting the short end of the stick on items at the very least. Uh, the Blade Master only one circle of nobility actually bought the other one. My life. And Grunt trying to run away has to stay away from that Skeletal Warrior there, or you will lose that salve. But I uh, got killed before he was struck. And Noel is finished off there, levels up the Blade Master now with Critical Strike. And Blade Master will chase away the Death Knight for now. Death Knight a little bit too quick. Can't quite catch him. And just running speed there. Grunt goes down to a swath of skeletal minions from the undead. And the Null Overseer still going strong here. Null will fall to the Grunts. Give the Blademaster a little proxy experience there. And now the Triple Grunts going after the Null Overseer. Blademaster taking a lot of damage here from Triple spiders and we'll make it on out of there and we'll go down to the null overseer just in time to grab the item here and picks that up a pendant of energy for the blade master something that the death knight really really wanted to have not as useful 
on the Blade Master, but still useful. Wind walks are definitely a good thing. But so are mass death coils from the Death Knight there. And all over Seer. Who will get the kill? And Blade Master attempted to get it, but I don't think he actually got it. And uh, the Death Knight at least got the item. And that was questionable on both sides there. And now the Blade Master will finish up the Forest Troll camp here. And Tome of Intelligence plus two for the Blade Master. So tons of mana on this Blade Master here. 510 maximum mana. And a Temple of the Damned for the undead, Spirit Hunter for the second hero, and it looks like a Lich on the way. And I gotta go after the eel little camp here. Grab some quick experience from this. And Playmaster sitting it out, but I think he might be a little too close. I think he's still gonna absorb some of that experience at that distance. Nope, now he makes it away. And the Shadow Hunter will absorb all of that experience. Research for and Death Knight. Attack. No items. Looks like he may have placed those sentry wards. And I actually don't see where he placed the sentry wards. I think he the sold the sentry wards ready. instead of placing them. And could he be making attack. banshees now? We're under attack. Skeletal Minion was in the orc base there. Been a little bit of harassment now after the Noel Overseer camp at the shop. And Tome of Agility plus two. Blade Master's gonna happily pick that up. And a hex goes off on the Death Knight, slowing him down momentarily. Frost Armor is the first pick for the Lich. And now the Noel Overseer, who will get the kill, and. Looks like the undead got the kill because he didn't quite get that wind walk off and picked up a potion of replenishment on the Death Knight there. And now Kodo Beast coming on out for the orc and still pumping out Banshees and Spiders for the undead. Banshee sporting a frost armor there. Sacrifice, sacrificial skull, rather, comes down and puts a little bit of blight on the ground there for some regeneration. And Undead really doesn't want to fight here, especially with this building in the way the spiders can have an advantage and that they can't get surrounded entirely by these grunts. And now a ziggurat is coming down for a good old Undead style tower rush. Grunt goes down, and the Ziggurat is cancelled. And a new Ziggurat placed, and then promptly cancelled as well. We're under and all of the Grunts are super low. And Orc right now in a little bit of trouble. Another Ziggurat now on the way. Playmaster now trying to go after the Lich, but is cursed. It was missing from time to time there. Shadow Hunter now going after the Ziggurat there. And I think earlier I might have said that it was a Spirit Hunter, a Spirit Hunter for the second hero. If I'm not mistaken, it is a Shadow Hunter, not a Spirit Hunter, but I suppose you could call it a Spirit Hunter in kind of some ways. It would seem like a somewhat fitting name either way. But the Shadow Hunter, Shadow Hunter. Playmaster is super low right now, does have a potion of invulnerability. He used a potion of invulnerability, and I think that was a little bit preemptive though. Could have used it just on his deathbed there. And may lose this. Playmaster is so close there. The healing wave and the Ziggurat nearly completed and will be turned into a spirit tower shortly. Or possibly Nerubian. Maybe one of each, since he has two going now. Another grunt falls for the orc. And 
gonna be a Nerubian Tower first. Which is nice because it'd give it a little bit more utility with that cold. And the Orc base under siege now. Watchtower coming up to try and defend, but was a little bit too late. And Undead got a hold of it before it could complete. The Orc Hero is back in the mix. Another Grunt Falls, level 3 for the Death Knight. And Kotobi snags one of those spiders. I'm going to try and run off with that and digest a little bit. And Arubian Tower now focused on the Blade Master. There was focus for a moment on that Grunt. And now, rightfully so, on the Blade Master. And Obsidian Statue here should be surrounded it is unable to escape there and another spider falls run here very 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 low loses the grunt as well and now down to slim pickings for really both sides say the orc or rather the undead has a little bit more and blade master will fall to the orc blade master will fall to the undead rather and give a nice chunk of experience to both of those heroes and Kofin done regenerating for now. And the orc not particularly pleased We're with the attack. tower rush. But not much of a tower rush. Just one simple Nerubian tower. And a tomb of relics now. And the bestiary falls to the undead. And Kotobis yoinks one of those spiders. Not gonna try and run off to the back side of the base there. Digest those spiders slowly. Another ziggurat coming up even closer to the base now. And both of these Kotobis are pretty low, particularly this one. And I think it has a healing salve on it right now, so it is healing up here pretty quick. And those two spiders are lost for sure, as long as those Kotobis don't get attacked and killed. And the Kotobis actually digested that spider there, killed it, and that was just enough experience for that Shadow Hunter to be level 3. And now should have a level 2 healing wave, which is very nice. Very nice upgrade from level 1. Uh, yoinks another spider and going off to digest. So, kind of nice micro with these Kotobis and taking them away. I see a lot of players just keeping them in the battle. Then they end up losing them. And the spider is released, and then you lose a Kotobis at the same time. Burrow will fall here in a barracks being created in the back of the base. Watchtower in the base as well. These burrows defending as much as they can. A couple peons there pop out to help repair that. And the Blade Master now out on the field, but no Voodoo Lounge. No, the Voodoo Lounge is there. Which, just another orc, does have 400 and some odd resources there, so he needs to be buying some clarity potions and such from the Voodoo Lounge while he has a chance. Even more powers now being created. The Voodoo Lounge is about to fall, so he should get what he needs now. And he does pick up the potion of mana and a potion of healing, and the barracks is coming up, and I'd like to see some uh, catapults as soon as possible. We're and get some demolishers out here, start hitting these ziggurats and fighting his way out of the base. Another burrow coming down here, and another watchtower, and there goes the voodoo lounge. No more of that noise out on the field. And healing salve is on the blade master there. Both Koto beasts have empty stomachs and could yoink up a couple of these crypt fiends, but it's gonna be easier said than done with them next to all these Nerubian towers. Work, 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 Dust of appearance would also be be pretty nice at this time, but no more voodoo lounge. War Mill is now about to fall, and two demolishers have been queued up. And gonna take out that P on there. 
Banshee taking huge damage from the Watchtower and nearly lost it if both those Watchtowers actually focused on that Banshee would have taken out that Banshee there with the unarmored armor. Which, yes, I know, that's sort of a redundant double negative, I guess. Unarmored armor. Takes plenty of damage from those Watchtowers. And there goes one of the Banshees. Crit. And one more hit there. Another Banshee falls. And yoinked up a... Uh, I believe he ate one of those spiders. No, this one did not. And this one did pick up a spider for now. And Fortress now being hit by the Meat Wagon. And Meat Wagon on the run. And so is the Blade Master at the same time. Has a potion of healing. Gonna have to pop that soon here. And needs that mana to wind walk away. Fortress taking a lot of damage here. Only one peon repairing. And the demolishers need to get on attacking those Barubian Towers. There he goes. And now he's going to have to apply a ton of peons here to keep this up. And now it is healing a little faster than the damage is being taken. But the peons now completely vulnerable. And no more peons in the burrows either. And trying to get after these demolishers here, the undead. But can't quite get to them. Almost got that spider there. And two demolishers really have to watch out here. Can't be repaired by the peons, but uh, definitely needs those to take out these Nerubian Towers. Once these Nerubian Towers are gone, then this will be, it should be a fairly easy task for the orc to take care of this. A grunt is now on the field and can help absorb a little bit of damage. Another voodoo lounge there is going to be created on the far side of the base. And demolish is now going after the Second to last Nerubian Tower. Little Beast needs to absorb, eat one of those spiders, and taking a little bit too much damage though, has to back out for now. Did lose one of those Kodo Beasts. So he only has one left. So definitely doesn't want to lose that, doesn't want to lose that. War Drum buff, and we'll lose a Demolisher here. One Demolisher down, and one Nerubian Tower left. Unless we're not going after the Obsidian Statue. Obsidian Statue is lost. One Obsidian Statue left. Grunt takes a healing wave just in time. But don't think it'll be enough. Should be able to take out that Grunt there. And just a couple more hits. Grunt is down. Now level 3 on the Lich. And Demolisher gets a little bit too far out. Death Knight gets a little bit bold. Goes after that. And Obsidian Statue now down again. Ready to work. And we have a level 4 and a level 3 versus two level 3, so slightly better hero levels on the orc, but not by all that much. Warmail being created in the back for more demolishers. And possibly watchtowers and any other necessity acolyte repairing up the Nerubian Tower. And with the Voodoo Lounge now there, should be able to gain some precious mana on some of these heroes. Clarity Potions on the Shadow Hunter for healing. And the Acolyte here will be taken out. And a couple misses there, one or two misses from the Banshee Curse. And now all of the towers are gone from the undead. Scroll of Speed now going after the Lich here. And Lich taking some damage and some misses going on there from that curse, saving the Lich from quite a bit of damage, but still loses the Lich regardless. And a Death Coil takes out the final Kodo Beast. And Demolisher running away for its life, but the Undead are getting very bold, just running right in. Has plenty of Spiders and Banshees and a hero to do that. Miss on that Banshee there, saved her for a moment, but did not last too long. Lots of misses going on, a missed crit. And now a surround is going down on this Blade Master. Blade Master now surrounded, needs to fight his way out. And has a healing potion, will heal up, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. It's gonna lose this Blade Master. And can he make it out of there in time? 
another healing wave goes down on the Blade Master, keeping him alive. Go, Blade Master, go. And finally, Wind walks on out of there. And could use a clarity potion and some healing salvage on that Blade Master now. And does have plenty of mana, or rather gold, to do that. Tomb of Relics needs to be finished off there. My life for the Horde. But he's not too worried about the Tomb of Relics. And now Grunt's on the way out. And work. Now heading towards the undead side. After breaking out from uh, that defense. And now going after that Death Knight there. And is there going to be a Hex to slow him down? Hex slows down the Blade Master. Or the Death Knight, rather. And could get a decent surround here, and a kind of partial surround on that death bite takes him out. No oh, intelligence on the ground. Freebie for the Shadow Hunter if he chooses. And an expansion attack. attempt now coming up here for the undead. But all the acolytes are now going to be primarily lost. Here comes a big group of undead with no hero. The wolf, the lich is in the back there. But Acolyte's just feeding the Orc army now. Our gold mine has collapsed. Yet another Acolyte falls. And now the gold mines are toast on both sides here. So neither player has any more gold income. Orc gonna go down to the bottom side here and uh, try and take out this red drake using the Shadow Hunter and that orb of lightning. Drake falls there, Scourge, Bone Chimes. Uh, not too bad at this point in the game, won't really do that much. Not sure why not. Ninjas for Suji. Now level 5 Blade Master, level 4 Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter may get level 5 from this, but the Blade Master is here, so he'll be soaking up some of that experience, so he's going to run away. And Book of Dead on the ground there for the Shadow Hunter to pick up. Master hunting down some weak units here. Another weak ghoul is there and going after the Lich instead here. A couple more hits on the Lich. Lich now down and that will be GG for the undead. And winner of this game is of course the Orc finishing off both of those heroes with a no gold mine left for either player. Couldn't quite really afford to get those heroes back. Well played by both players there. And heroes 5 and 5 versus a 4 and 3. So just superior hero levels on the orc. And especially from defending that whole time and gaining all of that experience in the base. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this replay. And don't forget uh, this Saturday at 2 p.m. Arizona time. Now if you don't know what Arizona time is, just sort of Google it. What time is it you know, in Arizona? And then just sort of extrapolate that to your own time. And it will be at 2 p.m. on Twitch. Again, that's down in the description below my Twitch page. Uh, you can go and check that out. Follow me now or just check me out on the day that I do that. Like I said, it's going to be kind of casual. Just going to take some semi-random replays and cast them for a couple hours, maybe two, three hours, depending on how many people are watching. If it's a real huge event for some reason, uh, I'll go on possibly longer. But uh, if nobody decides to show up, maybe I'll just cast a few games and call it a day. Who knows? But either way, I will see you guys next time.